Okay guys, so hi, what a way to start up the vlog. I'm at my mom's house, of course, and I taught my very first heels class. I did a Britney Spears class and it was so much fun. It was definitely something out of my comfort zone, but it was something that I really wanted to do ever since I took the Britney commercial class in Toronto over the summer. So I was really happy to have this opportunity to teach this class. And this is the combo that I choreographed in the basement. I didn't do it full out until I got to the studio, but it worked out anyways. It was so much fun like I already said, and I was so sore the next day. Good morning, guys. Welcome or welcome back to the vlog. My name is Jasmine McDonald, and I post ballet and fitness related videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and now Sunday. And I stayed over at my parents last night, quite obviously, because I was teaching till late and my parents lived closer to the studio I was teaching at. That being said, I'm gonna make the bed, get ready because I teach online from 9.30 until 10.30 and then I teach in person from 4.30 until 6.30. Actually, it's from 3.30 until 6.30. I just realized I should probably put that in my calendar just to be sure. But anyways, let's go get ready. I just got out of the shower, washed my hair, put on some deodorant, and I also used, sorry mom, but also not sorry, because it smells so good. I used the Body Butter Satsuma from the Body Shop for normal skin with 96 hours of moisturizing, uh, nourishing moisture, and it smells so good. And my mom has a bajillion of these, so. I stole a little bit. Sorry, mom, I'll put it back. But I'm going into work today, hence the reason I had to shower because my hair was just far too greasy to not shower. I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup and I think I'm gonna do TikTok live or post a little video on TikTok while I do that. But that's pretty much it. I did a ballet class here, more of a point class here yesterday. And I am so sore because after my heels class, guys, I even show you these bruises. I don't know that I did in this vlog. Like, are you kidding? Hitting. It's one of those bruises that hurts like just to move and to breathe in and I've also got one there So yeah, that was fun and I'm also very sore But I feel better after a shower because I took like a really hot shower and I feel like my muscles just have the chance to relax a little bit I also like I said, I brought my little sage pharmacy this little guy. So I think I'm gonna use I don't have a headache, but I do need to use the pain release. I don't think I've opened it yet, but it says for the pain release, which I need today, recommended use, use tenseness and stiffness. Adults use 100 drops of this oil for application, so lower dose increase. If well tolerated and blah, 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 blah. So I'm gonna apply it topically because I'm in a lot of pain right now. Like I can hardly move. So I'm gonna put it on my legs. I'm also gonna put it on my neck and my back. Cool. It's like, it's like a nice little roller. I'm gonna put it on my neck as well because my neck's really tense. Apply it all over. Then I'll put it on my legs as well, which is kind of awkward to do because I have these giant pants on. But I'll put it mostly around my VMOs and my thighs because that's where I'm feeling the pain today. My other side, especially this leg. This leg got the brunt of it. This leg, is in the most amount of pain for sure. 
This is so awkward to do. I'm gonna put on my cat's TV, rub it in with my hands. Let's do that. Hang on. Do, 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 do. Spread it around and that should be good. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of glowy skincare as well. Yeah, I definitely needed that. This pocket pharmacy comes with the peppermint halo, which I always use whenever I feel a headache coming on and it really helps see stiff in my neck because I get a really tense and stiff neck whenever I had a, have a bad migraine. I haven't used this one yet. This one smells delightful because we have it for our essential oil diffuser. Um, I just use this one, the Eater's Digest, I do use if my tummy's upset. I haven't used this one, this is the only one I haven't smelled even. So maybe next time I'm sick because I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use it when you're sick, colds and cough, interesting. All right, but anyways, I'm going to continue with my hair and makeup before I head out. Also been so windy every once in a while, I'll just hear the wind and then I'll see outside how much snow there is. And this morning we got like a mini blizzard, but it stopped snowing since, knock on wood, that it stopped snowing forever. Don't want it to snow anymore, I'm sick of the snow. The snow is cute and it's fun for a little bit, especially around the holidays, but once the holidays are past, it can go away, honestly. Okay, so I just finished my makeup, I applied the glowy serum from Typology, and then the vitamin C aloe vera serum as well, it's tinted. And then I put some blush on, some mascara, I did my brows. I just applied setting spray, hence the reason the mascara got kind of messed up and my face looks like wet and dewy. Um, but I'm gonna brush out my hair. I might do a braid today, but the only problem with having a braid when your hair is wet is it comes out looking disastrous, or at least that's what it looks like for me. Everybody else, it looks so cute, but I think, I don't know, I'm just like rough with my hair or something, or the way that I braid isn't like even, so when it comes out, it's just scary. Guys, and it was literally so sunny out, and I just looked outside, and I have to show you. Once again, what is this? doing this. Why is it snowing so much? Seriously, snowing so much, I can't even see across the street. Like what? Are you kidding me? I literally can't see across the street. Like so snowy right now. Gross. <laughs> I am back home. I'm going to clean up a little bit, make the bed, and then I have to run some errands in town. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much my day. And then I go into work for 3.15 until 7.45. So let's get this day rolling. Ow, so sore. Wow, you made a mess, didn't you? Bye, I love you. What was that? So excited for this one. Friday, March the 22nd, and today I have the entire morning off, 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 but I had to take my vehicle in to get service, so I'm just kind of like on standby for that. I just showered as fast as I could just in case they called at us. Hopefully the vehicle isn't like damaged or anything. I don't know. Hopefully it's just a very small fix. It sounds like it, but anyways, I teach this afternoon, this evening, and then I'm going over to my friend's house for like a game night, and tomorrow it is a showcase. It is a performance, so I'll be gone all day tomorrow, so I think today I'm just gonna wrap up the vlog, take you along with me, and then start a new vlog next week, and next weekend I will be away in the city. I will be going to the Olivia Rodrigo Guts Tour, and she just released new songs. She released Guts Semi Deluxe, so I'm gonna listen to that now while I get ready and while I wait for my vehicle. And that's pretty much it. I got in late from work last night, so I didn't really get to vlog much. But here we are today. I'm gonna blow dry the hair. Okay, so I just like lightly blow dried my hair, but I'm going to do my makeup now, and I'm just gonna do very light makeup because I'm not really going anywhere today. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't have the most interesting day other than just waiting for my car to be ready for pickup. Hopefully it's ready soon because I do have to teach at three until 7.30 tonight, and it would be nice if I had my vehicle back by then. I'm actually not leaving the house at all to teach. Sorry, I'm off camera, but um, it'll just be easier if I have my car and I don't have to pick up like in the middle of 
growth lesson. I'm gonna use these glowy drops from Typology and they have vitamin C and aloe vera and I use them all the time just because it makes my face look really like glowy and dewy and I love that. Also while Steve's away this weekend, so he is here while I'm here and then basically while we're both gone, he's going to visit his parents and he's back the Sunday morning by the time hopefully this vlog gets out. Um, but if not, it'll get out later, but that's okay. But I wanted to like do a little mini Easter egg hunt for him while he's gone as a little surprise because I have some leftover eggs <laughs> and some leftover chocolates from when I did the camp a few weeks ago. So I might do that to see. I might do that this weekend. Yo. And see like my face just looks like so glowy with that. I feel like doing a little bit of eyeshadow today. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this Miss Glam eyeshadow in this silvery color. I never wear silver, but I feel like adding something cute today. And I love these products from Miss Glam. My mom gave them to me. Everything's cruelty free and it's just super cute packaging. Um, and yeah, I haven't really used this one at all. I don't even think it's open. It doesn't look like I've used it at all. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of eyeshadow. It's like very sparkly and pretty. Yeah, just something like special today. Why not? Something glowy. This would be perfect for the Olivia Rodrigo Guts Tour. I think I'm gonna have to start packing early just so I don't forget anything because I want to look awesome and feel awesome for that day, you know? And I want to dress up to the nines. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like, a little goes a long way. I put barely any product on and it's just so shimmery. I love that. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more. It's probably gonna be too much. Oh my gosh, it's so shimmery. <gasps> I love that. I also probably have like 17 oop, different colors on this brush because I use it so often whenever I do eyeshadow and any kind of makeup. So I probably should wash that. And I'm going to shave my eyebrows a little bit just because they're getting a little bit too hairy and last time I plucked them and that was definitely better for them, but I'm too lazy right now. So I'm just gonna like shave the unibrow. I probably should have done this before I moisturize because now I'm gonna have little hairs everywhere, but that is okay. I definitely should have done this after. Okay, that definitely looks a lot cleaner. I'm gonna just add a little bit more eyeshadow because I feel like I took a bunch of it off. Actually, it stayed pretty well, but I'm gonna add more because I like it because why not? Ooh, come on, open. I might even just dab it on my finger to get some extra product like this. Oh yeah, that is what we're talking about. I love that I do like the most on days where I don't leave the house. Does anybody else do that? You do like something super cute and glam and then you just don't leave the house. I definitely do that. But that's why I probably do it because I don't leave the house and I can do something a bit more experimental rather than just my usual like natural look. You know what I mean? Whereas I'm just used to seeing myself the way I do my makeup every single day so I don't really get creative with it unless I'm staying home because I'm afraid what if it looks really bad? You know what I mean? I went through a phase in like 2018, 2019 where I just did pink makeup and I kind of want to go back to it looking at my old like videos and looking at the old YouTube videos that I used to watch a lot like of the YouTubers and I'm just like oh my gosh that was such an era because the eyebrows were more slick, the makeup was more glam. Now it's all about like soft girl and like natural but I kind of miss you know the winged liner of it all and I used to wear winged eyeliner until pretty much this year and the only reason I don't really do winged eyeliner anymore is just because I can't afford the upkeep of key Keeping to having to repurchase. Oh my gosh, that was not English. Having to keep repurchasing the winged eyeliner that I like and the only one that literally works on my face because I'm a sweaty gal and the only things that work on my face are waterproof mascaras, waterproof eyeliners. Oh my gosh, I just got a bunch of makeup in my eyeball and I think it's actually just a hair from my eyebrows, but that's okay. But yeah, like I was saying, the only makeup that really works on me is waterproof because I sweat so much or I cry. <laughs> And I wish I was kidding, but I'm not. Yeah, I just got eyebrows literally all over my face. Like, can you see them? They're just all over, but that's okay. I'll just use a big brush. I'm definitely liking how this is turning out. Don't mind all the little eyelashes or eyebrows everywhere. I'll wipe them away after, but I'm liking the look of this. I don't know. It's almost like reminiscent of 2000s. You know, this kind of makeup you'd get like with your Polly Pockets or something or Barbie with kid makeup, except better quality. <laughs> okay, that's looking pretty cute. I'm just gonna wipe away all the eyelashes, hopefully. And then I'm gonna do my eyebrows a little bit, but not a lot because you know, I don't want to take away from what I've got going on. I love using the Urban Decay Big Bush Brow Set that they sent me. So they sent me the brow blade with the two heads. So one of them's an ink stain, one of them's a waterproof pencil. And then they also sent me the Big Bush Brow. Don't mind my mascara literally exploded in my bag. And I also have the Slick Day Brow. I just looked outside and it's snowing so much. Gross. That's na nasty. Okay, I'm gonna use this pencil just to fill in the areas that need to be filled in better. I like the look 
that I'm getting where they're thinner because I've been going for like a bushier brow lately, but let's see if I can try to keep this shape a little bit more than usual. Because usually I brush them up a lot, make them fuller, but I kind of like the look of them like not as full. Also, they're definitely not twins or sisters. They're like distantly related cousins. And the next part's the best part, the slick day brow. I'm not gonna use too much this time. I'm also pretty far from the mirror, so I'm gonna check this after to make sure it's like not crazy looking. There we go, cute. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Once again, one of my mascaras literally exploded, so don't mind the packaging. It was like pristine, but that's my fault. I just let something explode. And this mascara is honestly one of the best. It just like separates things and like defines my eyelashes so well. I feel like I got a little bit carried away on this one. Hang on. Okay, I think that's what I'm gonna go with today. Full, but definitely not what I use usually do. Something different. And I'm thinking of either straightening my hair or just like letting it do its natural thing. And then tomorrow I'll decide better because I don't want to straighten it and then have to like curl it again before I go to my event tomorrow. It's a lot of heat on the hair, plus I blow dried it a little bit today. So I'll just let it be natural for now, even though it looks a little bit poofy and weird. And that's pretty much it. If I close out the vlog here, which I'll see when I edit, because I obviously want to have enough footage, it's not like five minutes. But if I close out the vlog here, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, happy dancing, and until next time, bye now. This is a cheesecake brownie. Okay, so I know I said I was going to end my vlog earlier, but I just got a couple of things in the mail. Plus I got the book ordered for me from the library that I wanted to start. And I've been telling Steven for the past couple of months, I also have to do my nails, but um, I really, really wanted to start the Akatar series because I see it all over Book Talk, And I really want to get into a nice good series again because I love reading and I haven't had the chance to read very often. I've been reading Secret So Deep and it's a really, really good YA novel if you like that kind of stuff. And it's deep and it's dark and it's really cool. I really, really like it so far. Um, I'm not finished it yet, so I don't know how it ends. But I'll let you guys know how I like the ending. But I just got the next book I'm gonna read, which is the first of the, I think it's called the Akatar series, A Court of Thorn and Roses. And and I've heard a lot of really good things about the series, particularly that it's a little bit spicy, which is so funny because not only did I get that book today, but in the mail, I got this Maybelline PR package in the mail and it contains the Lifter Plump from Maybelline New York and I'm gonna open it on TikTok but I want to show you guys first basically they gave me not only like these cute little stickers but they gave me hot Cheetos hot sauce which we are fresh out of and these lip lip plumpers so I'm going to go try them on on TikTok give a little TikTok haul and story time and on that note now I'm gonna close out the vlog thank you so much for watching I'm so excited to open this have a great rest of your day stay safe happy dancing and until next time bye now